Hello, I am going to give you guys a tutorial today. I'm going to teach you how to do this um, black and silver smoky eye. I think it's quite lovely. Anyways, um, uh, this is going to be my first tutorial, so I just want to let you know that. You're going to see lots of fun stuff that I probably could have uh, avoided if I would have had some prior knowledge to recording myself in any kind of way. And you'll also see that I have a hard time keeping my face on the screen at times. So bear with me through this first one. Next time it'll be so much better and it'll just continue to get better from there. So I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you really, really, really want your makeup to look like this and um, good luck. So here we go. Get started um, to begin with. I used Urban Decay's um, Shadow Primer Potion, and like usual, it's, it's the most popular. So I put that on and I let it dry, and um, let's see. If, then I took my, uh, I'm not quite sure what number brush this is because it's rubbed off of it. Which has happened to a couple of my brushes, but it's a it's a real blendy kind of brush. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what one it is. Anyways, and then I'd also take um, my Mac Black Ground Paint Pot. Put that brush in there and get a little bit on it, and then start to rub it on your eye all over, up, up over the crease just a little bit, make sure that you smooth it out really good so you don't have a real harsh black line, I used to do that all the time, try to get it on there and then fade it out with the shadow and it would still just show so dark so make sure that you Blend it out really, really good while it's still paint pot. Anyway, okay. It's actually looking pretty good. So, I have to admit, I did try to do this tutorial earlier and it didn't work out very well, so we're doing it again. <laughs> anyway, I'm just putting a little tiny bit more on there, smoothing it out. A little bit above that crease, like I said. And put a little tiny bit underneath the, the corner of your eye, just a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. So, oh wow, I got really dark. Okay. So, see you at. <coughs> okay, and so next, I used... Um, this Jane Ising in High Ho Silver, and this I don't even remember where I got it. I don't know, somewhere. Anyways, and I'm going to use um, this is actually just a Mary Kay brush. Uh, they call it a definition brush, but it's just really pretty soft. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Okay, get a lot of shadow on there, and then put it all over the black, and up to your eyebrow. Sorry. That's one of the reasons why I have to redo this video, because I kept getting out of frame. <laughs> Anyways, try to do better this time. It's terribly hard to pay attention to all these things at once. I give a lot of props to those girls who do these videos and do a really good job <laughs> because it's not as easy as it looks. Anyways, okay, so you get that high hose silver all over your eyelid, just like that. See? And <coughs> next we will take the, um, this is another one that it rubbed off, I'm not quite sure, but it's another MAC brush, and it's, it's a really uh, pointy, stiff brush, and uh, it's nice to, you know, when you're first drawing in contours and, 
and stuff the, to just get that nice line in there and then you can smooth it out with another brush. So we're going to be using MAC Carbon, which is a matte color. And just load that brush up with some good color. Tap it a little bit. And you start right here on the lash line. Just draw that color back up into the V. Make sure you get a lot of it in there. And just pull it up and around. Kind of pull it into the to the lid about a fourth of the way or so. Maybe a little bit more if you want it a little darker. It's whatever you want. Get a little tiny bit more in there and then we'll blend it out. Alright, let's see. Still more. Okay. I'm gonna take that same brush that we used before to blend on the uh, the paint pot and we'll just start blending that out. Really, really blend that black line so that it doesn't, it's not super harsh so that you can see it. But it's a nice, soft, pleasant, pleasant line. Make sure that it's the same height as the other side as well. It's always a challenge getting the same shape. <laughs> We all have those challenges. Alright. Take that um, pointy pencil-like brush that we used to put the black carbon on and actually go right underneath on the bottom lashes. Go about halfway, maybe a little bit further. Don't go all the way because we're going to put some silver right, right on the inside right there. So. Put a little bit under the first half. And I'm going to blend a little bit more on this guy. Okay, alright. So, <coughs> next I used L'Oreal. This is just a little L'Oreal palette that I bought. Um, we're going to be using this really, really bright, light silver. Um, this pack is actually called Sultry Silver Smoke. So if you want to get that, it's L'Oreal. I don't know, it might be, a, might be some kind of a special. I bought it, bought it a little while ago. Anyway, uh, take that Matt Mary Kay definition brush again. Actually, I apologize. That is the wrong one. I want you to take the Mary or Mac um, 212 brush, I believe it is. It's a really flat brush. It, uh, you know, I usually use it for my paint pots. Anyways, um, <coughs> also take a little bit of your Fix Plus or water or something to moisten the brush just a little bit, so that when you get that silver, it'll it'll turn really metallic. It's a really, really, really pretty color when you get it wet. Anyways, and then you just start to paint that on over top of the high hose silver that we did before. You see how nicely it just, it just amazing shine. It's beautiful in pictures. We've already taken pictures of it <laughs> once. I love it. Anyways, um, paint that on really well. And then what we're going to do after we get it on there, sorry, I'm going to get it a little bit closer to this mirror. Okay. Still get a little bit more on there. Right there. You can hear my ring shaking. It's my shaky ring, as my daughter calls it. It's really actually pretty cool. I'll show it to you. It's got all kinds of little 
shaky. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to describe it anyway. I've had it for a while and I love it. Put a little bit of that silver right there on that la lower lash line, on the bottom of that lower lash line. And blend it with the black. <coughs> you can actually use that uh, pencil brush to blend it a little bit under there. Just blend that together. And then take your blending brush again. And I'm actually going to use another one, but both will work. This is just 